Hi there, this is Teresa. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to take a look and see the person on your mind. What are their feelings for you? What is their hidden truth? We are gonna go Aries through Pisces, so the timestamps will be listed down below. If you'd like your own personal reading, my email address is listed down below or my website. We're gonna start with Aries. Aries, the person you're thinking about, what are their feelings for you? What is the hidden truth? I know I messed up everything. So this person is in this energy of knowing that they are the reason why things are the way they are. Looks like in the recent past, this is somebody who maybe wanted their freedom. They didn't want to be in a relationship and they didn't see the potential or recognize it. Now in this present energy, they're ready to make a change. They're feeling really ambitious and driven to come towards you because now they have success in mind. In the near future, they are going to take that leap of faith and come towards you. They're going to put all of their struggles and all of their burdens to the side, and they're no longer going to procrastinate. They're going to come towards you because they're feeling free and adventurous of wanting to correct the mistake that they made because they know they did mess everything up. What is the advice for Aries? Nothing is yet set in stone. So nothing is for sure set in stone for you, Aries. So you do have free will and confirmation of being able to do what it is that you truly want. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Bottom of the deck being hidden is your hard work is paying off. So if you are working on yourself, that is going to pay off for you, Aries. Taurus. Okay, Taurus, let's see the person you're thinking about, their feelings for you. What is the hidden truth? I compare others to you. So this person looks at other people and tries to check off the list, obsessively feeling that nobody compares up to you. So they're comparing everybody to you. In the recent past, it looks like this person maybe was being very conservative, holding back, not wanting to give you the security that you wanted and deserve. In the present moment, this person is wanting to protect the integrity of you and this connection. They are feeling very focused that they wanna maybe establish something since they keep comparing everybody to you. In the near future, they are going to be a little bit more emotionally stable when they come towards you. They wanna give you comfort and confidence to know that that they want to make you happy. This is somebody who is obsessively thinking about it. So they maybe have a little bit of codependency because they have been comparing everybody to you that they figure they might as well just want to be with you. Why are they trying to replace something that they already know is really great? Your advice Taurus is your hard work is paying off. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. We also have the answers you need are coming, full moon and Gemini. So if you have been wanting an answer about something when it comes to this person, Taurus, you're gonna be getting those answers really soon. Gemini. Okay, Gemini, the person on your mind, what are their feelings for Gemini? Just being near you is intoxicating. Okay, so this person is intoxicated with your energy, with your aura, with the vibration that you put off. Looks like in the recent past, this person knew that there was a higher purpose for the two of you to be around each other. This was an intimate relationship, Gemini. This person knew in the recent past that there was something more to this connection. They were trying to figure out what that meaning was. In the present moment, they are feeling a little bit of the grief or the loss of the separation if the two of you broke up or if you're not in contact. They are feeling pain because they are recognizing that you're somebody that they want to be close to. In the near future, they are going to try to come towards you. They are learning that there is this higher purpose between the two of you. It is something that they have maybe been conflicted with for a very long time. There's been a lot of stubbornness in their energy and now they're recognizing that there is this higher purpose and they're trying to make sense of it. So they are gonna come towards you to try to implement some type of conversation to really learn or uncover through forgiveness of why the two of you have been in union in the past. 
Your advice, Gemini, is your hard work is paying off in Capricorn. And it's time to release negativity, Scorpio. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio and the negative nature that came with this connection, you might have to look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. Cancer. 525. Okay, Cancer, let's see the person you're thinking about, their feelings for you right now. I am starting to understand our connection. So this has taken this person some time to recognize what this connection is and how one-sided maybe it was in the recent past. There it is, one-sided in the recent past. They knew in the recent past that it wasn't fair, that maybe they were being very selfish or greedy with the connection. In the current moment or energy, they are a little bit curious about knowing who you're talking to, why you're talking to other people, because they're understanding more about this connection. In the near future, they are recognizing that they need to listen to their intuition, that they care more about you than what they led on in the recent past. This is something that this person maybe had been very conflicted with being selfish and they did a lot of things that were hurtful and betraying to you and now they're understanding that that wasn't supposed to happen in this connection. So now they're trying to resist being feeling like a victim because they're the ones who self-sabotaged it. But it is something that they are trying to be more receptive to their intuition and be open to it. The advice for cancer is... Your dreams need a practical plan. You could be dealing with a Taurus. We also have meditate and contemplate, new moon in Pisces. So you may need to do some meditation to be able to overcome. If you do not want to come into union with this person, then you may need to do some meditation to clear out that energy. Leo. Seven oh five. Okay, Leo, the person on your mind, what are their feelings for you? I just seen, I want to start over. I'm afraid to contact you. I'll wait for a sign from you. I know you don't feel the same. So Leo, your person feels that maybe you've already moved on. You're not interested in them. You're done with them. That they are waiting for some type of sign from you that they are going to come back into union with you. In the recent past, this person maybe was in their ego and their pride. Their ego maybe got in the way of this connection and they were more focused on them having the control or the strength to control the dynamic. In this current energy, this person is lacking the confidence because they've destroyed the connection and they feel the failure. And now they're doubting what they had did in the recent past to you. In the, the near future, this person is really accepting the failure of what has happened. They are a little bit in this mindset of this low vibration poverty mindset because they have a lack of planning. They're not realistic and they are really procrastinating on trying to get things together in their own life, let alone with you. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. This is somebody who is in a very destructive energy. Let's see, what is the advice for Leo? It's time to take action in Aries, and you and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer, Leo. Virgo. Okay, Virgo, the person on your mind, their, their feelings for you, what are they, Virgo? The timing just wasn't right for us. So divine timing maybe was at play. This person could have pushed you away because they just didn't feel like it was the right time. Yeah, here in the near, um, or I'm sorry, in the recent past, this person was very protective, not wanting to maybe be in a connection or be in a partnership or be in a relationship. They were very defensive maybe each time you brought it up. In this current energy, this person is perceiving things a little bit differently. They are maybe getting direct communication from the universe that even though the past maybe wasn't the right time, maybe now is. In the near future, this person is ready to come back and compete for you because the timing wasn't right before, but it's right for them now. They're feeling very ambitious and driven to win you over. Yeah, look at that. They are going to take and want to have a new beginning after this major tower moment, this change, maybe they destroyed the 
the connection because they didn't want a commitment, but you did, and that created this power moment with the two of you. What is the advice for Virgo in this connection? Nothing is set in stone, and a new start is coming. So Virgo, if you're wanting a new start with this person, they are on their way back to you. Libra. Okay, Libra, the person on your mind, what is their feelings for you? I am not available. So this person is not able to communicate with you right now. They maybe have a broke up with you or they went silent in the recent past. Okay, it does look like something changed. So there was an ending between the two of you. In the present moment, this person is not able to really communicate because they're trying to have this inner peace. They're trying to balance out the decision that they made. In the near future, this is somebody who they are really trying to be balanced with the choice that they made. They're trying to be compassionate and considerate within themselves. In the near future, it does look like they are maybe wanting to have an opportunity to see if things could progress or if the two of you could come together even as friends. They are kind of um, going through a little bit of setbacks in the near future. A chance of bad luck is the way they're going to look at it. But they may tie their bad luck into them ending things with you. They may feel like it has some type of universal relevance. They ended it with you and since then they've had a stream of bad luck. So they may try to come back and just try to ask for forgiveness to apologize for whatever did the way they ended things so that things could go better for them. Your advice is adjustments are required and it's time to take action. New moon in Aries. Scorpio. Twelve. Scorpio. A person on your mind, Scorpio, what are their feelings for you? I can't be with you. Okay, so it looks like in the recent past, this person was very selfish and greedy with their time. They were also very materialistic. They could have been somebody who really just did not contribute to the connection. And they their current energy is they are really coming to the clarity and the truth of why they did what they did. In the near future, they are really going to be nostalgic. They're going to think about the good times and they may try to reconcile with you. Yeah, they're going to try to come back and be a little more dependable, but just be aware, Scorpio, because they are coming back with this energy of heartbreak and a love triangle. So there could be third party involvement. So if they disconnected with you because of their own indulgence with other people, they are coming back in that same energy. What is the advice for Scorpio? Surrender to the divine and a time for healing. So you need to take some time out and heal yourself, Scorpio. Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius, their feelings for you, the person you're thinking about, what is their feelings for you? I wish I could share my good news with you. This person wants to communicate some good news with you, something that's changed for them. In the recent past, this person was in this fearful energy of maybe being a little bit impulsive with their actions. In the present moment, this is somebody who is having this awakening that they need to maybe ask for forgiveness, that maybe they need to apologize to you. In the near future, it looks like this person wants to be truthful and honest with you, that maybe things were not fair, the way they handed their impulsive actions in the past that caused what has happened between the two of you and the, the truth and clarity they want to reveal. This person is coming back in a indecisive energy they are going to come back in an energy where uh it's more of a victim mentality Sagittarius so just be aware that everything ended within this connection but if things change and transform there is an opportunity for a new beginning if that's what you choose you want this person is coming back with that mindset what is the advice for Sagittarius 
Prosperity lies ahead in Taurus and work through your fears, new moon and Scorpio. So whatever fears you have tied to this connection, Sagittarius, you need to work through those fears. Capricorn. 1515. Okay, Capricorn. The person on your mind, their feelings for you. What is their... I know I was a distraction from your pain. So your person felt like there was some distraction. That you were a distraction from their pain. In the recent past, it looks like there was a lot of conflict. The two of you maybe could not get on the same page. This person in the recent past felt like there was a lot of selfish energy. In the present moment, this person is trying to be very truthful and honest with what the truth is when it came to this connection. In the near future, they are trying to be more focused and disciplined. They are trying to take back their power when it comes to their own self-respect. What you don't see is this person is also very nostalgic. They are feeling the loss of the connection. They're thinking about the happy memories and not just the bad memories. What is the advice for Capricorn? A win-win outcome is in the forecast, a full moon in Libra, and have faith in your dreams. Pisces. Nope. Just skipped over Aquarius almost. Aquarius. 1635. Okay, Aquarius. Their feelings for you. What are their feelings for you, Aquarius? I wonder if you're happy without me. So this person doesn't know. They don't know if you miss them. If you don't miss them, are you happy? Are you sad? The recent past, it looks like there was a new beginning. There was an opportunity for the two of you to really grow together. In the present moment, this person is being a little bit cynical because they feel like maybe whatever happened isn't going to be forgiven. And either their carelessness or your carelessness caused the situation. In the near future, they are going to hold back. They are going to try to maintain control and conserve themselves by not reaching out. They are overall going to try to just walk away from the connection because of the lack of stability and the lack of misunderstanding that they are not really wanting to take any action to try to resolve it. What is the advice for Aquarius? Don't let your past hold you back and a new romantic cycle is about to start for you. Now Pisces. Seventeen fifty-two. Okay, Pisces. Person on your mind. Their feelings for you. Pisces. We don't share the same values, so there could be a difference in values or beliefs. This person feels that it's very different. In the recent past, looks like this person was being very conservative. This is somebody who was being also very practical and responsible. In the present moment, they want to resolve these problems. Even though the two of you don't share the same values, they want to avoid any conflict when it comes to that conversation. In the near future, they do want to reach out to you. They're a little bit overwhelmed with their emotions because they want to be able to have some compassion to the situation. But overall, they are recognizing that there this may fail overall. Even though there is this energy of, can we come back together and renew it? There will be some forgiveness and there will be a decision made that unfortunately it's not going to come back into union, even though there will be forgiveness. So what is the advice for Pisces in this connection? Your dreams need a practical plan and nothing will come of this situation. 